all started when we honestly just um, we had tossed around the idea for years just joking about it Kiana would always say that there's no place to get authentic crab boils like she got down south and in the time that she lived there and the time that I spent going to visit her we felt like we had kind of crafted the perfect crab boil we sold about 80 to 100 dinners our first time ever selling crab boilers right out of my house. And it just, it was a hit. It took off. It, that was, that's pretty much how it started. We had lots of friends and family say, oh, this is the best crab boil I've ever had. And we thought, oh, you know, maybe one day we could do this for some extra money. That's really how it all started. And within, after doing it for maybe two to three months, Kiana and I both looked at each other and realized that we had crafted um, a menu, <laughs> a full menu right out of the house. And we looked at each other and said, I think we got something. Um, we wanted to incorporate a little jazz, drinks and so to Cincinnati. So we knew we wanted to do like a New Orleans themed seafood because they are culturally known for having good flavorful food. We just kind of thought of a slogan and it came up, we came up with bringing New Orleans to the Natty. I think that um, we probably face every challenge that you can probably imagine. So, Who's going to cover her shift today? Uh, probably me. We have faced financial issues. We have faced issues with the building. We have faced um, issues with not having, um, not knowing per proper accounting. We um, have faced inventory issues with products. If you have to stay on the floor all day, what are we going to do about the truck? The port, um, they were able to shed a new light on what we were already doing. Um, we prayed for the opportunity to be able to have um, what we now have. So what the port was able to do was they were able to um, give us an opportunity, but they were able to magnify the amount of orders we are able to produce. They were able to magnify the amount of employment. We, we love the port. It's been such a good experience working with them and they have um, turned things around for us. It really makes me proud that not only um, is it minority owned, but we're, we're, we're all women. It feels good to be around like-minded entrepreneurs to see that we're able to run functionally in a kitchen that is three times the size of anything we've ever done without having any formal training, um, that makes me extremely proud. If someone had told me that we were going to have opened three businesses within a matter of three years, and been pretty successful at it, some pitfalls, some, um, some moves, some closures. Um, but overall, just in a good place, successful and happy with where we are in business, I would have absolutely never believed it. Joy and I have conversations and say, wow, can you believe that this is where we are? Wow. It's a dream come true.